Good morning. It's 647. Thanks for starting your day with us here on Breakfast Television. Wendy Smith, founder and president of Brasante, joining us this morning along with breast cancer survivor Linda Perrin to talk about the prosthetic options available for women with breast cancer now here in Winnipeg. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, Wendy, tell us a little bit about Brasante. Well, Brasante is a company that I started to um, help women with prosthetic options following breast surgery. And it's been in development for about three years. And finally, we've, um, we've designed different prosthetic options that uh, women can wear, whether they've had a mastectomy, a lumpectomy, um, or other types of breast surgery. And um, now they're readily available to local women and women around, around the country. Right, you just opened up a space on Main Street just yesterday, that's and that's right. somewhere where women can actually go in there, speak to the experts, try on these prosthetics, find out what exactly is available for them and what works best. Exactly. And they can also get fashion advice, they can get um, uh, custom clothing is coming um, soon, and also alterations to their existing wardrobe so they don't have to get rid of all their nice clothes. and. Uh, uh, the prosthetics that we've developed can be worn with a regular bra, so you don't have to, um, you know, have a kind of a utility bra or a, a surgical bra if you don't want to. And Linda, you are a breast cancer survivor, and you yes, actually use the Brasante prosthetic. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what it's done for you and how it how it helps you in everyday life. Um, well, one of the greatest things about uh, Wendy's uh, prosthesis that she's developed is that it's lightweight. It matches your like your skin color. Um, it's uh, very comfortable, you don't perspire with it, and it moves with you um, when you exercise or you do, you're just doing your day-to-day -day life. Um, I think as well, it's, it's great for your self-confidence, your body image. As a woman, you want to feel like a, a woman, um, and that, that helps. Well, and here we're looking at them. This is the one that is available on the market that has been for quite some time. Yes. That is quite heavy, not very natural looking. No. And this one here, significantly lighter and much more natural. Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell us a little bit about uh, the challenges in designing something that, you know, hasn't really been overly researched. Well, the first step in designing something like this is listening to people. So I talked to a lot of women and they told me that, well, there are, there are definitely uh, problems with this type of prosthesis. So sure, absolutely. I yeah. just used that information and um, um, being a, a prosthetist myself, I've designed a lot of different types of prosthetics over the years. So a breast is really no different. You go through the same process. But listening to women, seeing what works, what doesn't, and then factoring that into the, the innovative part of, of making a prosthesis. And, uh, and this is what we came up with. We made it modular. We made it um, adjustable. We made it to match um, skin tones, so personalizing it yeah. so that women can have it, you know, blend with their body image. Linda, what do you want other women to know that are that are going through breast cancer or have been through that similar experience? Well, I want women who um, have a diagnosis of breast cancer that, that to be very hopeful. Um, that's really important. Um, and to look at your options. There are right. options for women, and that, I think that's really important. Don't jump at the first... Um, Thing that they offer sometimes just have a look at you know what, mm. what your options are well it's designed in Winnipeg it's created in Winnipeg and I know you just got a patent to expand and the whole idea is to take these global exactly well congratulations on your success so far and thank you for creating such a wonderful piece for women around the world I know it's gonna make a big difference and thanks for your time here today Linda thank you thanks we'll put up the link for Brasante on breakfast right now we'll check in with Jenna